Now we're going to move on to our Your Stock, Our Take. And uh, we've got Joan in Nanaimo who wanted to know about Home Capital Group, HCG, on the TSX. Aaron, uh, I'm going to let you take away our Your Stock, Our Take on Home Capital this week. Sure. So, so Joan said that uh, she noticed that the stock Home Capital Group has recovered partially from its lows um, earlier in the year. And she's wondering if if we think that this recovery is going to continue. So for those that aren't familiar with the background of Home Capital, it was a it was a weekly dog on the podcast about a month ago. And for many years, this company was a very steady performer with consistent earnings and dividend growth for well over a decade. But this ended when the share price peaked in 2014 after some very serious allegations about improper reporting came to the surface about the company. What the, what happened, they got in trouble with regulators. This led to depositors withdrawing money from home capital, which is essentially the lifeblood of a bank or mortgage company or, or the deposits. And this forced the, the, cap, the company home capital to do a very expensive financing just in order to survive. So it's been a classic story of a value trap for anybody who's bought this company over the last 18 months. Closed at fourteen twenty-five today, so that's almost tripling from its low of just over five dollars in early May. It had dropped down at just over five dollars, but the stock is still down fifty-five percent year to date, and it's down almost seventy-five percent from the peak that it hit in twenty fourteen. And so, what has happened recently? Well, there's a couple of good pieces of news for the company. One is a potential settlement with regulators, and the other is is actually it's not news; it's more rather speculation that the company is close to setting up a, a significantly less expensive financing in order to fund itself long term. So, will the company recover from here? Will this will this recovery continue? Was the question and. I would, it's really impossible to say, but I think at the very best right now, home capital is just a speculation. It's not something that we we would invest in. And in the banking industry, public perception really does become reality. People, they aren't going to want to deposit their money with an institution that they don't trust. And without those deposits, it's difficult to see how the company can can fund their business, continue to fund their business economically. So I just think there are just too many unknowns, too much risk in this name right now, and I would stay away from it.